We're in Microsoft Outlook 2016. I'm going to show you how to auto archive your files to a personal folder or a PST. And you can do that simply by right clicking on the folder that you would like to auto archive. Each folder can be separately archived, so you don't have to have them all have the same settings if you don't want to. And let's choose our inbox, for instance, and we'll go to properties. While we're in properties, we'll click on the auto archive button. Now, by default, you're going to see do not archive items in this folder is checked. So you've got a couple of options. One is to use the default auto archive settings, and you can click on those to change those defaults. And and you can check the box that says run the auto archive every 14 days. You can also say how long it is or how often it is uh, that you check the auto archive. You can clean out items older than six months. And then you can change the default location to where the personal files are saved. And you can see an archive PST was just created. So we can also choose to permanently delete older files and just say, we don't want to archive them. I just want to delete them. So if you choose you don't want to do that, you can choose the auto, or pardon me, you can choose the archive this folder using these settings. And again, it shows the same uh, six months uh, settings that will automatically send files or emails older than six months off to the personal folder. You can also choose to move um, the items to a different location or again, permanently delete those files. When you're all done, you can click apply and then those settings will take place for the folder that you've highlighted.